Welcome to the Splash Resource Showcase. The aim of the showcase is to highlight some of the innovative ways Splash are creating high quality online resources in various formats to accommodate the various learning preferences of students. These resources are aimed at enhancing academic good practice with a post benefit of inculcating academic integrity to help reduce plagiarism. The contents of this video is a short summary of a recent Splash event. It will cover the e-pedagogic principles utilised for the resources. It will demonstrate via the three showcases how the principles have been put into practice. Plus it will document how digital literacy skills have been enhanced for all. The current e-pedagogic principles utilised have been to provide multimodal resources that accommodate the various student learning preferences, flexible and openly available to allow students to study independently at their own pace and at point of need, to have knowledge checks that add value to the learning experience, to add the principles of human-computer interaction, meeting the expectations of students, plus design resources with inclusive practices that include multi-sensory engagement for all students, including those with a specific learning difference. Showcase 1 is resources in different formats. Our current suite of resources features topics such as writing an essay, However, for the current resource project, we decided to fragment this down into writing an introduction, developing an argument and writing a conclusion. And this allows us to focus on each of these areas in more depth. So here you can see our writing an introduction resource. A key part of this resource is giving students an example of an introduction to give them a reference point. The introduction has been color coded to delineate the different parts of the introduction, such as context, argument and structure. And then each colour is elaborated on throughout the document as to allow students to go into more depth about each of these sections. A key part of the development project is implementing a cross-platform approach whereby a resource can be presented in different formats. So for instance, this PDF on writing an introduction has been adapted into a seven minute video. It maintains the core elements of the PDF, but it's presented in a much more visual way targeting different groups of students. Let's move on to have a look at this video. If we look more closely at the introduction, we can see that it's made up of different sections. So each colour highlighted represents a different section of the introduction that's performing a different function. And we'll look at those closely in turn. So the first section is the background and context. So your introduction must set the scene for your essay as well as fairly in-depth tutorials. Also available for students are a range of short bite-sized tutorials that are hosted on YouTube. For example, we've created a suite of short tutorials around referencing and academic integrity. Here, students can discover what academic integrity is and find out how to develop their referencing skills. Students can access these short tutorials via themed playlists or as individual videos. The bite-sized nature of the videos makes them ideal for students to watch at the point of need and to re-watch when they need a refresher. The videos are proving popular so far. For example, the Academic Integrity tutorial has had over 1,700 views so far. The third showcase looks at complex learning concepts. Online resources offered in various formats provide the opportunity to explain complex learning issues in an accessible manner. Students can access the resources at point of need and are able to autonomously enhance their confidence in these learning areas through the ability to revisit sections. Presenting a suite of resources linked by an overarching theme, for example, critical thinking, ensures learners appreciate related concepts and thus gain a deeper understanding of a topic. The ability to independently build knowledge by accessing specific sections of a resource enables students to be self-directed in their learning and not overwhelmed by the information provided, to study at their own pace. Aiming to make concepts accessible is evident in using everyday objects as starting points to explain and de define the concept of critical thinking, 
based in complex ideas and familiar settings, allows learners to engage with the topic across disciplines, and the interactive nature of the online resource promotes the ability for learners to cross thresholds about concepts in their own time. The involvement of the learning development team in creating multimedia resources has had a positive impact enabling staff to enhance their own digital literacy abilities. As highlighted in the GIST Digital Literacy Guidance, the opportunity to learn new software and develop an increased awareness of online learning pedagogies means staff now recognise how they can relate these experiences to help develop students as digitally literate learners. The development of online resources has the potential to link with current thinking in relation to information and meta-literacy. The Association of College and Research Libraries 2016 framework from the United States of America highlights the value of students as creators of information and it is envisaged that in future the project will enable students to develop their digital literacy abilities through participating in producing online resources. This also offers the opportunity to collaborate with faculties in the development of students as creators of discipline-specific resources, which in turn allows for wider assessment of the transferable skills developed which are inherent in information and digital literacy proficiency. As part of the Splash Online initiative, members of staff are now able to access and explore areas in which learning development opportunities could be incorporated into modular teaching. Staff can review provision by reading discipline-based case studies and see the range of our own pedagogical development through monthly practice and pedagogy meetings. The pages outline how staff can refer students to Splash, but also how you can contact the Splash Learning Development Team to explore potential collaborative approaches.